Ready when you are, boss. I guess this is what Edgewater's gonna look like in a couple of years. Eyes up, boss. We're rambling into the jaws of danger. Your return time is within 14% of the expected value. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. Captain, I hope you made the right decision by siding with MSI. I've just finished reading a report of your work on Monarch. The broadcasts have been silenced at last. Graham Bryant was a madman, a narcissist, and exceedingly dangerous. Colony is safer without him. And you brokered an alliance with the broker himself. Hiram Blythe is a valuable asset. Well done. Your work is exemplary. You've earned a place in the chairman's inner circle. Congratulations are in order. No, I haven't been watching you. I've been reading reports of your work. You're better than an adventure serial. Now we introduce you to the chairman's plan. Turn your eyes to the screen. Good afternoon. I'm Chairman Rockwell. And I'm here to address a serious issue facing us. As you all know, our colony has been successful beyond our wildest dreams. Unfortunately, we've recently discovered that our food supply will not be able to sustain Halcyon's population in the long term. Everyone will die. Everyone will slowly stop living from malnutrition. But we're doing it together, and that's what matters. I fucking swear, if someone doesn't give me something to read that will placate the masses soon, all of you will find yourselves violently unemployed. But I can assure you there's nothing to fear. We've got a solution. It's called the Lifetime Employment Program. We will freeze most of the colony to preserve resources while the best and brightest of Byzantium continue living in prosperity. Look, you idiots! How many times do I have to tell you we can't say shit like that? Fire whoever wrote this! While Halcyon's brightest minds solve the problem of our nutritional shortage, the rest of the colony will be placed in suspended animation. Individuals will be revived on a rotating basis so that every Halcyonite can be part of the important work of saving our colony. By testing paperweights. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> couldn't resist. Let, let's go again. And someday, in the not too distant future when we've solved this crisis, we'll all be back together again working for the good of Halcyon. Until then, the board shall provide for the deserving just as it always has. So, obey your supervisors. 
take your vitamins, follow your corporate mandated grooming rituals, and rest assured with the board on your side, there is nothing to worry about. Halcyon is on the verge of a total systems collapse. The truth is ugly and difficult to accept, but we must accept the truth before we can move forward. Malnutrition is already a problem. Disease will come next, followed by starvation, followed by a breakdown of society, followed by extinction. I know this must come as a surprise to you. I imagine you have questions. Is that why we were suffering plague in Edgewater? Malnutrition? All those folks sick and dying, and you knew why the whole time? Yes, Miss Holcomb, we knew why. We've known for some time that Edgewater was dying. The colony itself is dying. The suffering you experienced in Edgewater, the disease, the starvation, will soon spread across Halcyon unless we act. So that's your solution? Put the whole colony on ice? People ain't gonna stand for this. We'll fight back. We'll tear down the walls of Byzantium. No, Mr. Millstone, you will not. The workers of Halcyon will do exactly as they are told, as they always have. Your dreams of a people's revolution are the juvenile fantasies of a frustrated child. I won't pretend the truth isn't damning. Yes, the colony is on the verge of collapse. But there is a way to save it. We need to talk about Emerald Vale. Thanks to your meddling, Edgewater is without power. Operations have ground to a halt. You've left us with a useless town draining our resources. Edgewater needs to go. I want you to wipe the town out. No survivors. Are you out of your mind? We're not gonna murder a town of innocent people. You will do exactly as you're told, or I will have you shot for insubordination. You're a monster. Someone has to be. Now is not the time for half measures, Captain. I need a decision from you. When you diverted power to the botanical lab, you spelled the end of Edgewater. But the town is still hanging on, still living off whatever meager resources we send them. With every passing day, Edgewater leeches more of our limited resources. The town is a rotting limb, and we must be surgeons. Because right now, you're the only person I can depend on. My hands are tied by endless rolls of red tape and bureaucratic limitations. Halcyon is going to collapse while the board hems and haws and debates minutia. We need to act and you're the only person with the wherewithal to do what's necessary. I'm not asking you to be a murderer. I'm asking you to be a surgeon. Edgewater is a necrotic limb on the body of the colony. It must be severed. We don't have any other option. A colony is on the verge of collapse, and we no longer have the luxury of easy solutions. No. Allowing thousands of colonists to starve to death because we couldn't make one cold-blooded decision is insane. What I'm suggesting is absolutely logical. You talk less like a human than mechanicals I've known. I am responsible for every single human life in this colony. Do you imagine I relish the thought of killing some of them to save the rest? Steal your spine, Captain. Do what needs to be done. I won't. You're better than this, Captain. You have to be. Don't make me choose between you and Edgewater, Captain. Between you and my people, please. I'm glad you can keep control over your associates. Edgewater is beyond saving. 
We're going to have to erase the town, but we're going to do it systematically. You were in the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. Do you remember what you discovered there? There was an accident at the Emerald Vale geothermal plant many years ago. Automechanicals turned hostile and slaughtered the plant's workers. Tragic, really. In fact, Spacer's Choice manufactured the incident for an insurance claim. They outfitted their mechanicals with a termination protocol, which is exactly what we need. The insurance claim has been locked in committee for years, but the individual responsible for the accident was promoted for lateral thinking. I'm arranging for a delivery of mechanicals to Edgewater. These mechanicals have been equipped with the same termination protocol, which must be activated from a terminal in the plant. Once the mechanicals are finished cleaning out Edgewater, I'll need you to go in and clean out the mechanicals. Understand? I would never ask you to walk into Edgewater and slaughter everyone with your own two hands. We're not savages. One last thing. Spacer's Choice sent a team of soldiers to investigate your little misadventure in the geothermal plant. Tread lightly. I like you, Captain, but you're not worth that much paperwork. I prefer keeping our relationship strictly off the books. Report back to me when the job's done. You serious? We need to talk. You're not really thinking of going through with this plan, right? Tell me I'm imagining things. That's Parvati's hometown. You're just gonna wipe it out? You don't like this job, and I don't like this job, and nobody else on this ship likes this job, then why are you going through with it? Edgewater is a corporate town, not some marauder camp. They're asking you to wipe out their own people. I want to trust you, boss, but I'm gonna need more than just your word. I need an explanation. I ain't asking you to do anything for me. I'm asking you to do the right thing. And if you can't, then we're not gonna be on good terms. Never mind. Let's just move on. I did not expect you back so soon, Captain. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain.
Incoming! See the whole world from here.
Chief Junlei sure seems well, huh? What do you need? I don't know how we're ever gonna see eye to eye, as long as you're working for the board. Why? You got a ship. You got the run of the colony. So tell me why you're bending a knee in front of the adjutant.
Yeah, well, when you put it that way, I guess I gotta try. I suppose I'm not doing the team any favors by sulking all the time. I'll try to keep my chin up. Don't believe so. Got it open.
When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. Captain Hawthorne never worked to support the board before, at least not officially. I suppose we are turning over a new leaf? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I'll be here. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. just been informed that the problem of Edgewater has been permanently resolved. I know. But you acquitted yourself with honor. You performed your duty, as hard as it was. You should be proud of yourself, Captain. 
you're on the verge of making history. There's just one last job I need you to do for me. I've made arrangements for you to journey to the Hope. You will board your former colony ship, reactivate its navigation systems, and skip the colony ship into orbit around Tartarus. Once the Hope is in position, we will have everything we need to begin healing the colony. Technology, Captain. The same technology that allowed you and your fellow colonists to make the journey from Earth to Halcyon. Under the Lifetime Employment Program, every suitable worker in Halcyon will be placed in suspended animation. The Hope is the perfect storage facility for the colony's workers. I won't lie to you. We're going to have to dispose of some of the Hope settlers in order to make room for Halcyon's rotating workforce. But try to understand. Many of your fellow settlers are beyond saving. They've been frozen for far too long, and the revival process would be lethal. Convenience. The Hope is a massive ship and we'll need to make use of it. Our facilities in Tartarus will benefit from having the ship within orbit. The Hope has been out of commission for years. You'll need to connect your own ship to the Hope's auxiliary power supply. Then make your way to the Hope's bridge. Your ship's computer will activate the Hope's skip drive and bring you into orbit around Tartarus. You've proven yourself more than capable. I don't know if there's anyone better suited to this mission than you. Give yourself some credit, Captain. You've come this far without dying in some senseless accident. Clearly, the Architect has a plan for you. I have the highest faith in your abilities, Captain. You and I are going to save Halcyon together.